Let's talk for a minute about your local charity partner. Uh, the history of this uh, was... Uh, <clears throat> Let's talk about your local charity partner. For every dollar that you raise in your practice, you have the opportunity to designate 50% of the money to your local charity partner. This is an opportunity for you to go out into your community and find a cause that you are passionate about and help them help you raise more money. Now, there is a, a, a complete analysis and write-up on how to do this. If you go to crowncouncil.org, click on the Giving tab, and then on Smiles for Life, you will find a whole write-up on how to go and select a charity partner. There are a couple of things that I would point out that may not be on there. One is, you ought not to select a partner just because you believe that they are a great place to give money to. You want somebody who is a partner, who is willing to engage with you and help drive patients to your practice. And that ought to be understood in your conversation with them. That is, they ought to know that they are your designated charity partner and they ought to brainstorm with you ways that they can help drive patients to your practice that would like to have their teeth whitened. You receive new patients, they receive more income because they've got more people that are donating for which they get 50%. The only thing we need from you is the name of that charity partner, and it must be um, a charitable organization. That is, they must have to have a, a determination letter from the IRS that says that they are a 501c3 designated charity or an educational group, and our focus is on children. That is, we would like charities that are uh, children-based and children focused for their charitable efforts. If you have a question about whether or not it's an appropriate charity, just call us at the Crown Council office. We'd be happy to talk you through it and uh, give you some suggestions on what others have found to be most successful.